I got this Aleco XF bar off of somebody on Facebook Marketplace. Uh, he actually recognized me, so that was pretty cool. It was, it was really a steal, so I'm, I'm very happy about the, the deal that I got there. I got this bar for $250. Uh, so Jason, if you're watching right now, thank you for uh, holding the bar for me so I can come pick it up. Uh, so today we're gonna be doing some cleaning jerks. I'm gonna be using the UA lifters. This is the second time that I've used them, so still kind of getting used to them. Uh, one thing that I've noticed when I was like warming up is that, or just kind of just shifting around, moving around, um, is that the grip on these is really good. That's a problem that I have on my platform is that sometimes the grip with some of these only lifting shoes that I've been wearing or weightlifting shoes that I've been wearing, uh, the, the grip isn't always the greatest because there's, there's a good amount of dust in here. Uh, and that's just kind of the way it is in California. Uh, but the grip feels good. We're gonna see what I can build up to. So this is built up to like a one rep max. It's Saturday and uh, I don't know how I feel about that, but I'm gonna go up as heavy as I can go. Probably not to a one rep max or try to PR or anything, but we'll see. Uh, so let's get warmed up. So I haven't even done a lift this week. I've just been Metcons. Um, just kind of decompressing a little bit, I guess, from the open. I've been doing a lot of bench and push-ups, so my shoulders, chest, triceps are fried. So we'll see how this jerk goes. Anyway, this bar, it's one of the bars that I would have never picked up at full price. It's like almost 600 bucks, like 550. It's got two bearings in it. Uh, and I think that's just one per sleeve. Bushings. The only damage that's on this bar is that I think the way that he was storing it, he was just kind of storing it in the corner of his garage, standing up. So there's some chrome that's chipped off of this sleeve. But otherwise, the bar looks good. There's no real damage to it otherwise. It doesn't even look like he racked it. The knurling's still perfect. Uh, and the knurling on this is, it's a little bit lighter than normal Aleco knurling, uh, but I like it. It's comfortable. I don't really actually like normal Aleco knurling. It's usually too aggressive for me. This has the same kind of um, pattern, but it's not as deep. So it doesn't kind of have that same bite that normal Aleco knurling has. And then, of course, this has dual markings because it's a CrossFit bar. I have a few Aleco bars. I have a performance weightlifting bar right here. It's the NXG when they had that whole line. Then I used to have the white cap performance training bar performance weightlifting bar. I had the sport performance bar, whatever the hell that was, from the uh, NPGL. And then uh, I have a power lock barbell that is still brand new in the tube. And the only reason I haven't un un opened that one was, because honestly, I don't, I don't know what the hell I would use it for. I've got all these bars. And I'm only one man. I can only use one bar at a time. Which is weird, because I like collecting bars. Is that a weird hobby? Like collecting barbells? I don't know, if you ask my friends, they wouldn't say so. I mean, my Instagram and YouTube friends. I'm pretty sure I have the most useless collection of barbells because I have a lot of the same barbells over and over again. I've got like three Ohio bars in here. I don't know why. I have the Ohio bar 2.0S. Been sitting there and never did a review on it. Got a pink Ohio bar, a gold Ohio bar just because I've wanted different colors. Um, I've got a few different Rogue Oli bars in here, just kind of just chilling. Uh, like there's a lot of overlap in my collection. I really should sell some of these freaking bars.
As far as got a good amount of whip, like it feels, feels easy coming off the thighs. The spin doesn't seem amazing. But that's been like a general trend with the Lico bars that I've gotten. Like I bought the hybrid bar a couple years ago, a year ago. That thing's a piece of butthole. It's really no wonder why they discontinued it. And they discontinued it really quick. Like, I think it was up for a few months and then it was gone, done. The spin on it, horrible. The neural on it was okay. Uh, it's just a weird bar. Like, it's not really a hybrid bar because it's 28 millimeters. And then the knurling is pretty passive. Like it's more of like a Oli bar. It's like an Oli training bar that had no spin. And it's black. Sometime last year I picked up these Aleko XF bumpers because I wanted to use them. Uh, I wanted to try them so I could say something about them. And generally I like them, but they're really no different than any other crumb bumper. There's nothing special about them, except they say Aleko on it, so that's pretty cool. And uh, they're actually a little bit thicker, so that kind of sucks about them. And then the 10s and the, the 15s are not full-size bumpers, they're small. Oh, man. I'm not really moving that well today. I feel like I'm not really moving my feet when I clean. That jerk was not so good. Maybe it'll take it a little bit easier. So this is a 10 pound bumper plate from the XF. And the 15s are the same size as the 10s. It's still the same. It's nice when you just, you know, put it on the bar. Because it's just kind of easier to do that. Yeah, I'm not really getting a good jump. Feels weird. What is wrong with me today? Not a lot of training vlogs this week. I feel like they were doing pretty good, you know, throughout the open. And then maybe I played them out too quick. I don't know. I was just trying to put up more content. It was like kind of a steady decline. They started out doing real well and then they kind of fell off. Maybe I'll do them a little bit more sparingly. I don't really focus too much of my energy on that anymore. But you let me know. If you like watching them, I'll keep on doing them. They're pretty easy for me to do. My clean was better that time, but my lockout, my jerk was ass on that. I gotta put two and two together. These shoes are still kind of a challenge to use. I feel like the ground feel, like they feel disconnected. My timing is kind of weird in these because I, I don't know, the timing is, because they feel disconnected, my timing gets thrown off by a split second when it really shouldn't be because like they're direct. They just don't feel direct, which is like really weird. Okay, this will be a good one. I just had to tell myself it was gonna be a good one and it was a good one. That was a pretty good one. I haven't been doing a lot of lifting in the garage, mainly because I've been trying to get myself into the gym. I feel like working out at the gym is a little bit more, a little bit better for me. Try a little bit harder at the gym. Holds me more accountable. Still does feel heavy though. This is only 215 and I'm still like, I'm getting crushed by it. Okay, that was okay. That was not bad. I actually got under that jerk, so that was pretty good. Shoulder's a little wonky. I'm not too stoked about how the way I feel today, but 
It'd be like that sometimes. Could have just stayed inside and played the outflow. That was a bad clean. Oh man, I hurt my shoulder a little bit. I'll try that again. Yeah, one more shot. Clean was better than the jerk. Did not happen, obviously. Oh well, it be like that sometimes. Okay, that's enough. Oh, it's good testing a new bar. But maybe under better circumstances next time. Still happy with the bar. It's pretty good. I mean, 250 for an Alika bar. You can't be mad with that.